Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create a key pair on our computer so we can use the key pair to clone our private GitHub repository. To create a key pair on a Windows computer, first we are going to open PowerShell. Click the Start menu and type PowerShell in the search box. Once you have typed PowerShell, click the Windows PowerShell app and it is going to open PowerShell. To use PowerShell to create a key pair on your computer, you will type this command. This is the command you will use to create a key pair on your computer. And the command is ssh-keygen. The dash t means type and the type is RSA and the dash b means byte and the byte is 2048. Once you've typed this command, press enter. It is now generating the public and private key. The next question is asking you where you want to save your key pair to. This is the default directory that your key pair will be saved to. And for best practice, it is always good to leave it in this directory. So here, just press enter. The next question is asking you for a passphrase. We are not going to add any passphrase. Press enter. Press enter again. There you go. We have successfully created the key pair. Remember the key pair is saved in this directory. So if you go into the C user admin dot SSH folder, you should see your key pair in there. Let's open the file explorer on our computer to verify that our key pair is in that directory. I'm going to click the start menu. Then I'm going to type file explorer. So select file explorer here. Once you have opened the file explorer, we will select the C drive. Then we'll select users and According to our directory, the next one is admin, but on your computer, this might be your name. I'll select admin and on that admin, it is saying .ssh. We are going to look for .ssh. It is right here. I'll select it. And there you go. In the .ssh folder, you can see the key pair in there. So anytime you see a part in here, that is just referring to the same part on your computer. If you look, we went to the C drive, C drive. We click users users admin admin dot ssh dot ssh and in that directory we have our key pairs in there this is how you create a key pair on your computer thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture bye